All right, we have here, folks, a Magic Mobility Extreme 8 power chair. This is a one-of-a-kind power chair. If you've been watching videos on this power chair, you'll see why in a minute. This power chair here uh, has less than 10 hours, so it's practically brand new. Everything's original. It is ready to go. It has the 10-inch seat lift. It has the electric tilt, and it has the uh, electric seat lift and electric tilt, two electrical function. It has the light kit. It has a USB port, which we'll cover as we go along. But let's get back to this chair. This chair has a, because it has a seat lift, it has a 350 pound weight capability because it has a seat lift. This chair has four motors. Each, mo each wheel has a motor of 700 watts per motor. That's 2,800 watts of power. This power chair is the only chair that'll go on the beach. Now, let me rephrase that. There's other chairs that'll go on the beach, but they're as long as sofas. So, but the compactness of this chair, you can put this chair in your minivan. You can put it on a, on a carrier behind, but this is the only one to go on the beach. It's compact like this. It has four motors. And the nice thing about this chair, when you turn the wheel in front, you can see the wheels actually turn with the chair. Okay. So another thing, this is not an inside chair. You cannot use the chair inside your house. Way too noisy. Uh, too much power. It's just, it's an outside chair. So if you want to go on the beach, you want to go in the yard, this thing will go just about anywhere in the mud through, through all kinds of crazy stuff, which you'll see in my video. Okay. So this chair, as I said, has a large knobby tire. You can see the size of these knobs. These are low pressure tires. So they give you better traction outside. Uh, four motors. And you can see the wheel turns. You can actually see the motor, right? The size of the motor on each wheel has this black motor on them on each wheel. This chair also has uh, steer lock. What that means is you can lock the front wheels through the joystick. So if you go into a, a, a van, you can lock the wheels so they don't go left and right. They'll stay dead straight until you unlock it here. Then you can turn your wheel and it'll come back down. Okay. Now, this chair has a seat lift. We're going to start showing you how that works. So you will go on your joystick right here and there's a picture of your chair and you're going to hit the mode button. As soon as you hit the mode button, whatever, whatever's blinking orange is what's going to be the function. So right now, the seat is blinking orange. That's the seat lift. So then you use your joystick. So I'm going to go back and you'll see the, the seat going up. So you're going to start roughly at 23 inches. 23 inches when it's all the way down. And if you add 10 inches, you'll be at 33 inches by the time it's all the way up. So this is your seat lift going up on this chair right here. I think we're almost there. Okay, so this chair will not drive with the seat elevated. So you can see right now, if I try to drive it, it will not move. So this chair has the lockout position. It will not let you drive it with the seat elevated, which is a good idea, especially if you're outside in the woods. You don't want to be this high and just, you can elevate it, but if you want to drive forward, you need to bring the seat back down. So let's look at the base real quick on this chair. We can see the seat armature here. There's your actuator for the seat lift. You can see the low pressure tires right here. Four of these, each of them have a motor. Um, we'll cover the rest as we go along here. Let me bring the seat back down. So I'm gonna bring the seat back. Down. As the seat's going down, let me talk about the, uh, the side of the chair. You have a bag here. You also have right here a USB port, two USB port, and you also have a cigarette lighter in the bottom. I don't know what that's for, but it's a cigarette lighter there. Okay. You have lateral pads here to keep your knees on the foot plate, which is very nice. The seat is all the way down. The next function I'm going to show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here, let me put the bag over here so we can see. When the base goes back, of course it's going to take the feet, it's going to take the back, because they're all connected together. This is called your electric tilt. Now, this chair will drive with the seat tilted. So as you can see, it drives, okay? So it's gonna be hard to drive with the seat tilted, 
But a lot of people like to tilt the seat a little bit when they go downhill. That way you don't feel like you're coming out of the chair. So that's why they let you drive this chair with the seat tilted. Probably not in this position here. Probably a lot less than that. But you could be halfway tilted. Like if I bring it halfway down. So if you're going down a hill, whoop, I got the flashers on. So if you're a little bit tilted like this going down a hill, it makes you feel like you're staying in the chair, okay? So the chair will, as you can see, the chair will drive with the seat tilted, okay? So I'm gonna get out of the position of the seat. We're gonna bring the seat all the way back down. There we go. And now we're gonna go back into driving mode. And we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Now, it's a little hard in this room because this is a pretty, pretty big chair so you can see the wheel in front that's pretty neat how that drives outside it's just this is just an amazing chair the foot plate does flip up when you exit and it can be adjusted up and down on this shaft right here depending how tall you are the seat on this chair is 18 wide by 20 deep now we might be able to put a 20 inch cushion on here because there's a little bit of room on each side okay so but we can't change the seat on this chair if you want to change the seat in this chair, you're looking at two or $3,000. So that's why if you buy this chair, hopefully you'll fit in this seat. 18, but we can probably put a 20 inch cushion on here. Gives you a little more room on the cushion by 20 deep, okay? You can see the lateral pads here. You can see you have a safety belt. You have a contoured back right here. As you can see, the back is contoured. You have a headrest that can be removed. You also have while we're at it, let's look at the lights. You can see the headlights and you have tail lights in the back. And we have one tail light in the back that's not working. So I'm not gonna fix that. So there's one tail light in the back that's not working as I can see it from here. I am not gonna fix that unless it's unplugged, okay? So we have that and we have uh, hazards. You can see the hazards. And we also have signals right and left signal okay so you have that and you also have if we go back to the seat here let me see if I can get it back in the right position if you go back to the seat the arms can be adjust, can be flipped up so if you transfer from the side you can remove this this lateral pad right here maybe there we go. You can remove the lateral pad if you slide from the side. Remember, this post will not move out of the way unless you take the whole pole out, which you can. So if you transfer from the side, you can take the pole out over here. You can take the whole pole out of here. There's a but anyway, you can take the whole pole out. You need an Allen screw. So if you transfer, you can have the whole open side if you want to. The back of the seat is an adjustable seat. It's a manual seat. You almost have to be outside the chair to do it. You can crank it. As you can see, forward, and you can also go man backward, and it goes back about up to here, okay? The back of the chair, let me see if I can bring the chair over here. So the back of the chair, you can see there's one tail light that's not working. We'll look inside of here, but these are LED, so I don't think I have these. So I'm not gonna fix that. So you can see the rear wheelie bar wheels. You have a bumper here, and you, there's two levers here. This is the levers you would push down if the chair needed to be rolled. So if you're gonna roll the chair, there's two levers right where my fingers are, right below this brain box here. And you can put the chair in neutral and you can roll it, okay? Make sure you turn the power off when you do it. You have a push bar here. Let's bring it back over here. So this chair has a top speed of about 6.2 miles an hour. And let's say it'll hold a person up to 350 pounds. When you charge your chair, you will take your charger right here and you'll plug it right below the joystick. And as soon as the light goes to green, you're fully charged. Okay? So let's uh, let's turn the lights off there we go so let's talk about this chair one more time so this is the blue magic mobility extreme 8 power chair has less than 10 miles on the chair 
It has four motors. This is four-wheel drive, low-pressure tires. It has the 10-inch seat lift, the electric tilt. It has the lateral knee pad. It has the joystick on the right side. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side. It has a bag on each side. It has two USB ports and a, and a cigarette lighter here, okay? And you have the light kit all the way around the frame, the wheelie bars in the back, the tail lights and headlights, the manual reclined seat, and this chair is a fantastic chair uh, if you need something that can go over just about anything out there. So this is the Extreme 8, the blue Extreme 8. Top speed is 6.2 miles an hour. It has four motors, 20, 700 watts of power per motor, low pressure tires. We're gonna take it in the grass here and you can be able to see how well it does in the grass in my ditch also. Let's take it in the ditch. Let's see what it does over here. So right here is about three inches of concrete, straight concrete. You'll see how easy it goes over that. I'm going to come back down one more time so you can see a slow motion. This is about four feet high here, so I can't tell in the video, but you can see how easy it does that climbing. So this is the Extreme 8 blue power chair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the seat up. Well, you've already seen the seat up. It doesn't drive with the seat elevated, so you've already seen the seat up. And it does drive with the seat tilted. It has the headlights, it has the lateral pads, it has the cushion that's uh, 18 by 20, but you can probably put a 20 by 20 cushion on here. Uh, the wheelie wheels in the back, 6.2 miles an hour. It was used maybe a month, month and a half, if that much. It is practically brand new. It's a gorgeous power chair and the wheels turn. When you turn the wheel, you can see how it, they turn. As you turn the wheels, they will follow your joystick. So if you need a power chair where you want to go everywhere that nobody else can go, this one will go on the beach also. Great power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.